Let's take a look on how to edit your employee's time cards using iSolve Time. From the admin view, let's navigate to the left side menu and click Employee Self Service, Time, and then Time Card. Here's a list of all of our employees, and for the purposes of this video, we're going to use our buddy John Johnson. This is John's time card. We can see that the pay period here is Sunday, February 20th to Saturday, March 5th. At the bottom of the screen, we can scroll to the left and to the right to see punches from the full pay period. We can see that he will be paid for a holiday on Monday. He clocked in correctly on Tuesday and Wednesday, and he had a paid leave day on Thursday. Uh-oh, it looks like John forgot to clock in at 8 a.m. on Friday and instead clocked in at 9 a.m. If we hover over the entry, we can drill into more details about this punch and even see his lunch break. We know that John was here on time on Friday, so let's go ahead and edit this time card. Just hover over the entry and choose the Edit button. We'll choose his start time at 8 a.m., then we'll add a note in there saying we made the adjustment, and then we'll click Save. The time entry will turn gray and is in pending status. We'll click the Show Results button in the top left of the screen, and that'll update the time card for us. We can now see that this punch is correct. It appears that John had a long weekend because he punched in correctly on Monday, but he forgot to punch out. Let's go ahead and punch John out. We can click on the time that he clocked out and hit the punch button. I'll update this to 4 p.m. since I clicked on the incorrect time. I will choose punch out under the mode options and then click save. Let's hit the show results button to update the time entry and we can see that the time punch is now correct. To delete an entry, just hover over the desired punch and click the delete button. You can also add an entry back in by clicking the time John punched in, dragging down to the time that John punched out, and choosing the hour option. We can verify that the times are correct, add in a note, and then click save. Once we hit the show results button, the entry will update. We can hover over it to see any notes that are associated with this punch. And that's all there is to editing employees' time in iSolved.